Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. So we're going to do It's Panning Cats and Dogs update today for July. <sighs> Cannot believe it's July. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was created by Deb from Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup here on YouTube. Love those girls so much. Please go ahead and check them out. I will of course have them linked down below. And in this, you choose roulette style and six prompts to go with that roulette style. And there are monthly updates. And it runs from October 22nd of 2022 to October 22nd of 2023, which is National Make a Dog's Day. That is so cute. Okay, so we're going to get right into the update. Um, the first one is for Pomeranian, which is a lip product. And I had selected my Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Sesame, which is a very neutral peachy shade. And last time this was at 18.63 grams. And this time I have it completed. I'm very excited. I cannot believe I finished it. It's done. It makes me happy. <coughs> and allergies are like, oh my gosh. <coughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> of course I get excited about something and then start coughing all right next thing is catnip which is makes you lose your mind and i went with something by shine by sd which is the shade eliminate it goes from blue to purple and it's really beautiful i see purple when i look at it but in the viewfinder i see strong teal and it's just so gorgeous there's even a green green to teal to blue to purple oh my gosh so I will, of course, swatch this for you guys on my hand. Oh my goodness. It's so stunning. I wish you could see what I see in person. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, plus, I'm not like, there's no primer underneath this. So I didn't use that strong of a swatch, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I want to use it five times and I have only currently used it twice and I would like to try to get those prompts out soon. Um, at the same time, it's not like blue is not really a color that I wear a lot, but man alive, that's gorgeous. So I will definitely have to get those three uses in. So the next one is for Siamese and that is makes you purr with delight. So I went with the Aveen Soothing Skin Recovery Cream. <clears throat> Sorry. And the reason I went with this is because this is literally the most perfect cream for me, for my skin, and pretty much for anyone that suffers with dry skin or any kind of sensitive skin issues. So this is good for ages two years old and up. I have used this on eczema or eczema, however you want to call it. I say eczema, so that's what I'm going to say. And I've even used it on, like if I have really, really, really dry cracked hands, literally the next day I see changes in my skin. It's so good. So whenever I'm sick as well, my son and I have the same kind of skin where our nose gets really, really raw and cracked when we blow our nose too much when we're sick. And <clears throat> I even use it on him because he's sick. So I use it on him and I put it on his nostrils because I can't use like uh, polysporin or anything for him because he's too tiny. So I use this and literally the next day you can see huge changes. So this is literally the best and it definitely makes me purr with delight. Uh, it sounds so dirty. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so I chose this one to complete and you can see that there's still quite a bit of product left in here. Um, I'm up to about here. Of product but of course this is like it squeezes in so it will still last me a while because I only use this when I have issues because it is about $40 on sale Canadian but it's worth every penny I, I would use that for every moisturizer ever if I could um, and so the next one is cat product tired of wish a cat would knock it off the counter that is so hilarious i watched a video the other day with a cat knocking a tv off the counter oh my gosh anyway um for this one i went with the jd glow astonishing loose eyeshadow and i went with this because it's a loose eyeshadow and i'm just not a loose eyeshadow lover anymore i've come to terms with the fact that i just never really wear them but this is so beautiful I will most definitely swatch this for you guys. You can see here on my finger how gorgeous and stunning this is. 
I will do a good swatch. Like, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of a more finely milled version of um, Unexpected from JD Glow. But a more pearlized, silvery kind of version instead of like the gold or more like greeny gold type version that Unexpected is. So for this one, I want to use it five times and I've used it three. So I really, I could have thrown it on my inner corner today or whatever, but I just wanted to keep my look very neutral and summery, but it's stunning and I will definitely get those two uses in soon. And then the next one is Ziggy, which is dirty, dirty, something sex themed. And for that, I went with, of course, NARS. NARS is known. I could have went with this or Jeffree Star, I'm sure. Um, but this one, I went with the NARS Orgasm. This is the mini blush. This is sent to me from Valerie. And I'm so thankful because honestly, after all these years, I have still like never tried it until she sent me this. And this is what the blush looks like. I'm actually wearing it today. It's sort of like a pinky gold like a light, it's like a light version of pinky, pinky with a peachy gold shift. Very pretty. I do have it tapped over my another blush today and it's really cute. I'm considering taking this on a trip when I travel, but I'm not sure yet. So I want to use this one five times and I've used it three. So I only need two more uses on that. Um, the next one is for tuna, which is a food themed item. And I went with the cutie cake liquid blush from p louise and honestly this one is way too pale like when i saw the promo pictures i thought this was going to be more like a stronger peach you can see it's like a pastel i'll swatch it on my hand i'll really go in like a bingo dabber for you guys it's like white <laughs> i'm like where's the pigment where is the pigment um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up keeping this, but I'll certainly try it again. But it literally looks like I'm trying to put white, a white strip with a hint of peachy pink on my lips. It's just, or my cheeks. It's just too, too pale. Like what's up with that? Not even on my regular, like untanned skin is this going to be like showing up. So I don't know. So that one I hit the, the five uses. It's rolling out, not crazy about it. I'm not like, oh, I wish I could keep it in. I'm kind of done with it. Like, I don't know. It's too, it's too pale. I don't know. The next one, which are, I'm bringing in two now because I have met my goal on the P. Louise and where's my lipstick? I have completed <laughs> the lipstick. So that one will go on my empties and the P. Louise will go back into my collection. But I have brought in two prompts. The first one is German Shepherd, which is an item that protects your skin or your makeup. So something that protects. So you can use an SPF or like a setting spray or something or um, I don't know, stuff. <laughs> you figure it out. So I went with the Vichy SPF in the not the shade, but the SPF 60, the level 60. And I'm going to take this on a trip with me. I already have a little SPF, but this is so teeny tiny. I know I'm going to use this because literally it's going to be so nice and hot. And I'm going to be honest, like I'm running out of SPFs. So if I can get all these done, I can buy myself a new big one, which I would really like to. So this one will go into, I'm going to put it up here with my rest of my stuff for vacation. And we're going to talk about the next prompt and the last prompt. So this is Beagle, which is a scented item, which is the perfect prompt to go with this name or this animal. Beagles are so hyper focused when it comes to scents. As soon as they get a whiff of something that they're like, it like perks them up. That is it. You can't tell them no. You can't chase after them. You can't pull them away. In fact, it's dangerous to get in between that dog and that thing that smells like that because they're crazy. So my father-in-law used to foster and that was the first kind of dog he fostered. And I was like, dang, you can't even get in between this thing. Like he will growl. Oh, and this was a puppy. It was crazy. Anyway, um, I went with a little perfume from Skylar and this is the vanilla sky perfume. And I want to complete this. Obviously there's like, it's a small one, so I should be able to complete that. I can't smell what it smells like, but it says there's cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar for the fragrance notes. So I'm looking forward to this. However, 
I'm not sure how Skylar perfumes will do on me because I've never, I don't think I've ever used them before. So this will be a really good opportunity to figure it out. And also Vanilla Sky was one that I had my eye on for a travel size. So I'll see if I like it. And that is everything. So uh, I do have quite a few that I need to get a couple more uses on. And I would love to say that I would have all of those out for the next update. But because I will be going away and also um, it's summer and I rarely wear full face of makeup in summer it's going to take me a little longer and I have so much in projects so I really would like to try to get those so you will be surprised in the next update if I manage to get a bunch of these things out <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out Deb and Danny I love those girls to pieces and I'm so happy that they made this project it is so cute I love that there is a donation option and you can talk about your pets which I haven't yet and I would like to but I just I don't know if I can even find the pictures of my old pets. So unfortunately, I may have to miss those prompts, which is sad because I really had some amazing pets in my life. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to leave a pet emoji, a cat or a dog or a bird or whatever in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.